Hi, thank you for joining us in Journeying with God. We are going to start a new series called God is Enough. When you say God is big, have you ever considered how big is the big that you are referring to? When you say God is good, how good is God to you actually mean? When you say God is powerful, does it mean that He is very powerful or exceedingly powerful or all-powerful? God is vast and boundless. He is all good. He is all-powerful and all-knowing. We have no problem believing that God is enough when all is well because God really seems to be enough when we experience no lack. The challenge comes when things do not go our way. When I lose my job, is God enough? When I don't know how I am going to make ends meet, is God enough? When I feel overwhelmed, is God enough? Is God enough to see me through this ordeal? When my parents are at the verge of divorce or have decided to take that path, is God enough? When a loved one is struggling with terminal illness, is God enough? When I'm trying my level best to live up to God's standard in a place where no one appreciates godly values, is God enough? The answer is yes. Jesus is enough. It is when we want God plus everything else that we feel that God is not enough. For example, we want a nice car plus God. And when we do not have that nice car, we think that God is not enough. We want perfect health and God. When we fall sick, we question whether God is enough. The truth is, following Jesus does not make us wealthy or healthy. We need to have God minus everything else. When we do not have the car, we have God. When we do not have perfect health, we still have God. He is enough no matter what we have or what happens. A brief look at Christian history reveals to us that it does not mean that when we become Christians, everything will be okay. The apostles did not have it easy. They were not rich. The message of Christ is that He is enough despite adversity. Our needs are a means for us to cling to Jesus. I thank God that during the toughest moments in life, I have Jesus. All I need to do is turn my eyes to Him. The Bible in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, the Apostle Paul says, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. And in Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. And it is all our needs, not our wants. We need Jesus. God is enough because of His infinitude. According to A.W. Tozer, words like, Infinite, unlimited, and boundless are words that do not describe anything else but God. There is nothing boundless but God. Nothing infinite but God. God doesn't just lack nothing. He is limitless, not limited. Would you be able to worship a God who is very good but not all good? Would you be able to worship a God who is very powerful but not all powerful? Would you be able to worship a God who is not perfect? I don't think a God who is limited is worthy of worship. I don't think a God who knows 
a lot, but not all things can be trusted fully. The good news is, God is enough because of His infinitude. God is enough when we truly understand God's infinitude. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are limitless, boundless, infinite. God, with this truth, I pray, Lord, we will understand you and we will cling on to you even more because we know that you are always, always sufficient for us, Lord. I pray, God, for my brothers and sisters who are needing uh, some form of comfort, some form of uh, intervention, O oh Lord, from you. God, I pray that your reality will be so tangible to them during this time. God, for all of us, we pray that we will know you more and more each day. We give you all glory in Jesus' name. Amen.